Is it time to buy or sell SoFi stock? In this video, we're delving deep into SoFi. Our initial report was posted on our website on Wednesday, 1st May, 2024, and now we're providing you with a more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest analysis. Stay updated on important updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions by using our new AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Utilize AI technology to receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please remember that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since April 29, 2024, our system has identified SoFi as a sell candidate with a score of NIDA 4.06. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has shown a loss of 1.77%. On average, this translates to a daily loss of NIDA 0.59% since it was labeled as a sell candidate. The stock is currently within a wide and downward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further decline. Over the next three months, there is a projected minus 12.62% change, with a possible return ranging from minus 20.3% to 4.42% based on the current trend. Looking at the 12-month trend, a 2.6% change is expected, with a potential return between minus 26.47% and 71.49%. This could lead to a price range of $5.09 to $11.87 within a year. In our latest update on SoFi, we see a positive trend with a green day on Wednesday for SoFi. On Wednesday, 1st May 2024, the SoFi stock price rose by 2.6%, climbing from $6.78 to $6.92. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated by 7.81%, reaching a low of $6.66 and a high of 718. Over the past two weeks, there has been a 3.35% loss in price, with a decrease in volume of mighty 9 million shares on the last trading day. A total of 67 million shares were traded, amounting to approximately $464.77 million. It's important to note that declining volume at higher prices could signal potential changes in the coming days. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the stock's highest price was $11.70, while the lowest was $4.45. Currently, the price stands at 40.85% below the 52-week high at $4.78 and 75.51% below the all-time high on February 1, 2021, when it reached $28.26. Analyst ratings on Tuesday, April 30, 2024, Wedbush rated SoFi as market perform with a hold action. On Tuesday, April 30, 2024, Piper Sandler rated SoFi as underperform with a hold action. On Tuesday, April 30, 2024, Bank of America Securities rated SoFi as neutral with a hold action. On Tuesday, April 30, 2024, UBS rated SoFi as neutral with a hold action. On Tuesday, April 30, 2024, Deutsche Bank rated SoFi as hold with a hold action. Analysts have rated SoFi stock as neutral overall. They suggest buying the P.E. ratio and also recommend buying the price-to-book ratio. In terms of return on investment, analysts have given the stock a buy rating. SoFi has shown various signals. A buy signal emerged from a pivot bottom on Tuesday, April 30, 2024, resulting in a 2.06% increase. The stock may continue to rise until a new top pivot is identified. Despite price gains, volume decreased on the last trading day, creating a discrepancy between volume and price, possibly indicating an early warning. It is advisable to monitor the stock closely. Negative signals have also been detected, which could impact short-term development. Both short- and long-term moving averages for SoFi are signaling sell, suggesting a negative forecast. Resistance levels at $7.34 and 732 may hinder corrections upward, with buy signals triggered if these levels are breached. Additionally, a sell signal is currently active from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MAD. Let's explore some other signals that may catch your interest. Moving average convergence divergence, showing a sell signal. Pivots, issued a buy signal two days ago. 
Bollinger Bands, generated a buy signal two days ago. Short-term moving average, indicated a sell signal four days ago. Long-term moving average, signaled a sell four days ago. Relationship between short and long moving averages, provided a buy signal five days ago. Examining the 12-month chart reveals short moving average displayed a sell signal four days ago. Long-term moving average showed a sell signal 42 days ago. Relationship between short and long moving averages gave a buy signal 33 days ago. For more signals, visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support risk and stop loss for SoFi. SoFi has a support level at $6.78 based on accumulated volume, presenting a potential buying opportunity with an expected upward reaction when tested. This stock shows average daily movements and moderate risk due to good trading volume. In the previous day, the stock fluctuated 5 to 2 cents between its high and low, equivalent to 7.81%. Over the past week, the stock has had an average daily volatility of 5.48%. Let's start by examining some crucial fundamental data before discussing potential trading levels for SoFi. The price to earnings ratio or PE ratio is a key metric that compares a company's share price to its earnings per share. When a company has a negative PE ratio, it could indicate losses or financial challenges. While downturns are common, persistent negative ratios may suggest financial instability or potential bankruptcy. Looking ahead, SoFi's Q2 2024 earnings report is scheduled for July 29, 2024. Analysts anticipate earnings of point yen dotao, a figure that could have a significant impact on stock prices. Let's now consider potential day trading levels for SoFi. In an upward trend, the first resistance level for SoFi stands at $7.05. If you're not already invested, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering. For current shareholders, this could be a point to contemplate for swing trading opportunities. Conversely, SoFi's initial support level is at 6.78 cents. Should this support hold, it could present a favorable entry point with a potential rebound in mind. The average rating for SoFi from multiple analyst sources is currently neutral. Let's delve into some recent insider trades. On 2024-0422, Noto Anthony sold 6,000 shares of Series 1 redeemable preferred stock as an insider. On 2024-422, SLTA4 GP LLC sold 3,739 shares of Series 1 redeemable preferred stock as an insider. On 2024-319, Rishal Jeremy sold 5,673 shares of common stock as an insider. On 2024-0314, Webster Aaron sold 13407 shares of restricted stock unit as an insider, but also bought 13407 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is positive with a ratio of 15.6000. Overall, insiders purchased 10,699,590 10 shares and sold 8,091,167 10 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is SoFi stock a good buy? SoFi currently shows negative signals and is in a declining trend, indicating potential weakness in the near future. Our evaluation of this stock is negative. Based on recent volatility and price movements, our analysis suggests that the current price overvalued. For trading on Thursday, May 2nd, we anticipate SoFi to open lower by $9.30 and commence trading at $6.92. It is important to remember that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. Before making any investment decisions, it is advisable to consult with a financial advisor. Please be aware that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment actions. Presenting our current analysis of the stock. Share your opinions in the comments. Do you agree or disagree? Let us know your target price for this stock. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Wishing you successful trading and a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.